Welcome to the Empowered Spirit Show. This is your host, Terry Ann Hyman. I'll explore the connection to the human spirit in a way that helps to navigate your life, including crisis. I am passionate about helping you to open up to your intuition and the metaphysical world of spirit to find your confidence in your own inner guidance. Take a pause, be inspired, learn ways to show up focused, centered, and more dynamic in your everyday life. Welcome back to the Empowered Spirit Show. Thank you so much for tuning in and joining me today. This episode is being sponsored by Ritual and Shelter. Are you looking for a magical place to shop and hold space? Check out Ritual and Shelter online or in Homewood, Alabama. Browse through their bookshelves covering topics such as energy healing, crystal healing, Reiki, chakras, auras, the Akashic Records, shadow work, astrology, and earth-based healing. You can also find herbal teas and tinctures alongside their crystals and oils to help establish a mindful mindset and fluid ambience before meditation, ritual work, and reflection. Ritual and Shelter is dedicated to providing one-on-one in-depth conversations with customers to help them find the most efficient healing methods and resources that match their unique interest and energy. They offer tarot sessions, Reiki, sound bowl, and crystal healing, and now they are offering witch consultations. Visit RitualShelter.com to book an appointment and bring peace back to the body, mind, and spirit. You can also find them on Instagram at Ritual Shelter Shop, as well as Pinterest at Ritual Plus Shelter. As this podcast goes to air, we've got a lot of shifting going on in the cosmos, as always, it seems. Several different things happening. We're moving into the final Mercury retrograde for this year. It's in the sign of Sagittarius, which we'll move into Sagittarius later this week as well. So that definitely shifts it all up. Sagittarius is about our adventures and our travel. So here comes Mercury retrograde right in the midst of holiday travel. But don't let it despair. You don't get yourself all in a tizzy. Just make sure you check your plans, check your baggage, give yourself extra time. And then we also talk about the renew, review, recycle, going back through the energy from this season. We're coming to the end of fall. It is a time to renew that and recycle old energy, let it go, clean it up. So yes, don't let yourself get in a tizzy, but know that these changes are happening. But I think really the big news that most of your astrologers are talking about is the idea that Pluto has entered into Aquarius. It's been doing a little dance, but here it is. For the next several years, decades, I do believe. And this is really the beginning of this new energy coming forward. We're going to see a lot of things breaking down, which we are, right? We're going to see a lot of rebellion going on in the world. We are already doing that. And it's going to start allowing us to open up to a new vision, a new vision for all of us. We need it, right? Especially as light workers, we know this. We know we have a purpose. We know we're here to shine and to hold that light. Even if we feel a little bit of despair on our own, we can release this energy and help to open it up. So yes, we are moving through all of that, coming out of Scorpio energy intensity, moving into some of the adventure of that Sagittarius energy coming forward. So I've started something new. I've started coming back to my weekly lives On Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all of that. I've started it live on Monday mornings. Weekly pages from the Akashic Records. Offering messages about the cosmic forces. Talking about what's coming on. The messages I'm receiving through my higher self. Through my guide. Through the Lemurians. And pulling some cards too if you show up. Check it out. It'll be on Monday. And the replays will be there as well. Because there is a radical awakening going on right now. We are seeing it everywhere. I am seeing it. It is a happening that is going on. There is a profound urge to shine light, to reach that higher vibration of energy. And maybe you've noticed it within your own self. Maybe you've noticed you are a little too busy and you know you need to slow down. And maybe you've even started to meditate or taken a Reiki class, something that is starting to awaken you. It is a significant spiritual awakening occurring globally, all over. I'm in a couple of groups through Sounds True, international groups everywhere, all over the world. People are talking about this. People are talking about merging spirituality with our businesses. We can't leave our soul at home anymore. We must show up fully. And so, yes, it is 
happening all around the world. And so we need to find ways that we can start to work with this energy, shift that stagnant energy, shift that despair, that hopelessness into something greater. So I was doing a series, maybe you caught some of it, if not, go back, a really good series on ways in which you can expand your consciousness. And so now as I open up to this new series about ways in which now to do this expanded consciousness and maybe ways in which you've noticed for yourself that you are wanting to awaken as well. Maybe you recognize the importance of how you can lift up your energy every day. Maybe you feel it because you don't want to go into that despair, right? Lots of times we talk about this. I wish it wasn't always so, but most people find me and do the work I do because of a crisis, right? But perhaps we can all just start to recognize the more we wake up each and every one of us, we don't necessarily have to go through the crisis, but we can divert the crisis or we can lift the vibration to empower ourselves to show up authentically. One of the most effective ways that I have found working in the higher realms is through the Akashic Records. So what is the Akashic Records? The Akashic Records is this, it's in the Akasha, the ethers. It's what we call like the database that holds your soul's records. Everything you've ever done, past, present, and even future is held in the Akashic realm. Now, when we work in this higher state of consciousness, there's no judgment. We get out of that mental, the intellect, and we allow the intuitive, the creative processes to open up so that we can view our soul with compassion, with love, with recognizing this is what I'm here to do just to evolve. When we stay stuck in the three-dimensional world, we really start to do this number on ourselves, blame and shame and why did I do this? And we start to really just like get into that duality of being human. But when we engage through the records, we do readings, we do healings, we do meditations, we call in the guides, we have creative expression. We are able to move beyond the intellect. We're able to move beyond the humanness and open up to our soul's evolution. And you can then from that point of view, from your soul, witness the highest potential for you, the expanding of your understanding of what you came in here for. It allows even for compassion, for yourself and for others around you. Sometimes the wounds of the past that trigger us block us from moving forward. They remind us of old energies, of old contracts, vows we've made, not even aware of it. And then we get stuck and then we get stagnant and then we get all of the other energy around us, all the suffering of the world that comes attached to that. And we find ourselves in this painful experience and we can't seem to get out of it. We attempt to release it. We talk about it and talk about it and talk about it and talk about it. Don't get anywhere. But when we feel that persistent ache long enough, we start to search for other ways to handle it. And so that's kind of how I found all this work myself too, many, many years ago. And then of course, I just kept learning and learning and growing and interested and like a sponge soaking it all in. But yeah, sometimes it does take that crisis. But what I have found through all the modalities I work with, Reiki, intuition, tarot, EFT, stones and crystals, all of this energy, I work in the Akashic Records. We move into the higher state so that you can open up to a deeper healing to get to the root of it rather than stay caught in the limited beliefs of the mind. So one of my experiences, I'll just share to give you an instance, and I've written about it, I talked about it a little bit, but after my mom died, I went through a near death like experience car wreck and then the world shut down and then I just kept saying I'm in a dark night of the soul I'm in a dark night of the soul which is true right we can have many kind of dark nights of the soul but I just had so much grief and then so much fear and then I didn't know what I was doing and I kept using Reiki all the way through I kept asking to be guided by Reiki to me Reiki underlies everything I do it's just an amazing modality that you can use for yourself self-empowerment that's why i'm empowered to teach people because that's what i kept doing is just running my energy with reiki and kept asking for the guidance just for today show me my next steps and so yes i allowed this energy to take me down into costa rica work with some shaman some plant medicine go deep into my soul and through that journey kept going deeper and deeper and deeper 
into my soul, learning and understanding. And then I was guided to go to Tio Tacana, the sacred sites. And through there and through meditation and through this knowledge of knowing what it feels like to be working in the higher states, connecting through sacred sites and being guided through dream time, I was able to reconnect with a past life of mine, a past life where I was this amazing mystic that could paint and that had this knowledge and wisdom and telepathy and had all this amazing energy. And she died too young. She died in childbirth. And through that connection and through the past lives, my guides have shown me other lifetimes where I have lost babies, where I have been artists, where I have been mystics, and even into this present lifetime. And so the parallels and the symbolic energy and all of that can sometimes bring up blocks, can keep energy stagnant, can keep us from moving forward. But when we start to uncover and when we start to work with it and feel it in the body and then use our healing tools, that's when we can start to release the energy and start to open up and start to recognize how we can bring it forward and have that amazing healing and compassion. And so as I was reliving these instances and in these sacred sites and uncovering more and more about this, while I was there and even later through meditation, which we all can do, we all can go into our records, show me more, show me what this was about. And so I kept asking. I just kept asking, using Reiki guidance, bringing in my higher self and my angels. And as these memories were triggered and as they came up, I was able to experience them and reconcile the grief, reconcile the hurt. But I was also able to bring forward the wisdom that my soul knew and that my soul had learned lifetime to lifetime. And then when we come back and we land in the body, that's where that beautiful healing is. That's where then I am awake. That's where I am growing and evolving, finding that authentic part of who I am and healing and standing up, finding value in my work. And then those imprints, they release. It's not like the experiences are gone, but the animation and the hold that they have on us in the present lifetime is released. Through all the tools and all the works of the Akashic Records, when we work in that expanded state again, there is no judgment. We free the energy and in turn, it frees us. And like for me, when I came back from the first trip to TOA to Ghana, I was able to bring all that wisdom in, to empower myself, to stand taller, to talk about my experiences, to show up without the grief, to show up without the fear and to stand taller in the work that I do and feeling even more empowered to help people through other instances as well. This work is very powerful. This work can help you uncover so many things about your own soul's journey and where we are right now in humanity, being able to work through these hardships, being able not to attach to the other fear and hardships going on because like attracts like, that's what happens. But as we free the energy within us, we grow, our soul evolves. It helps us to live that purpose that we've come in to do. So many reasons why the Akashic Records can help you. And again, everybody can learn how to tap into it. Okay, you do need to have a little bit of intuitive knowledge, at least some trust, some willingness to trust, some willingness to access your abilities to see and hear and feel and know. We call that the clairs. And then we just allow ourselves to be guided into this realm of possibility. And we start creating that foundation like with any of the other modalities, mediumships. We talked about this last week on the podcast with Suzanne. We establish those foundations that we can read these records for ourselves and create this healing. We can read for others, but I have found beyond just giving people readings when they can feel the energy within their own body, that's where we know it to be true. That's where we know the healing will come forward. Very valuable. So I wanted to offer today and over the next several weeks, different ways in which we can work with the Akashic realm. And so today, what I'd like to do is start by opening up to the Akashic realm and take you with me on this meditation. Open up and create that foundation for you 
to also see and hear and feel and know what this realm of possibility feels like for you. So let's take that moment now. Wherever you are, if you can, close your eyes. Taking a nice deep inhale as we go to tune in and exhale. Starting with the sacred elements of life, we call in the element of fire to inspire the spirit to pull in, to transmute energy. We call in the element of air, noticing the smoke, the sage, clearing the mind, clearing the space, creating the sacred energy all around us. We call in the element of water to wash through the heart, to open the emotions, let it flow. We call in the element of earth to ground, to center. Taking a deep inhale, breathing up the body. And as you exhale, just call all your energy into you, call it in, grounding. Inhale, expanding the breath up the body. Exhale, begin to center your energy, calling in the spiritual body to align right on top of the physical, the emotional, the mental bodies, centering. Inhale, taking another deep breath up the body. And as you exhale, dropping into the heart, right into the deepest part of your heart, feeling that connection, your spirit and the greater spirit. Know that you are loved, guided, protected, feeling all this energy coming in around us as we set this sacred space. Taking another deep inhale, breathing up the body, moving beyond the crown into the higher realms. And as you exhale, calling in absolute light, streams of grace, moving all the way through the spine, the body, the legs, the feet, deep into the earth, opening up this channel, your radiant light. Inhale, expanding the breath up the body, moving up through the spine, out through the crown, up into the higher realms. Exhale, breathing all the way back down, deep into the earth. Coming back into the heart, and now we open up through the aura, expanding front, side, back, side. Exhale, pulling it back in. Inhale, breathing up the body, exhaling back down. Inhale, opening all around you, exhaling, coming back in. As we slow down, we begin to move through these channels of light, through the sacred energy we have created, moving through the tunnels into the higher realms, asking permission to open up these realms. For those that are listening, know that you are in a sacred, safe space. As we ask to access the keys and our healing guides from the Akashic realms to come forward, we begin to move through these tunnels of light. As I look through these tunnels, I see this galaxy opening up imagine pretend visualize this galaxy for you and as we move into the higher realms we move into this galaxy to these rooms of knowledge imagine pretend visualize your room filled with libraries of books books and books and doors imagine yourself sitting here in this galaxy now surrounded by your records, your light, your information. Taking a moment and just noticing, noticing this vibration of light, beginning to use the Reiki energy, calling it in, sending it through all time, all space, opening up to this healing light. How does this feel for you? as we call in. So what I'm hearing now is to call in our healing guides to start easily and effectively 
calling in the healing guides to release the doubts, the fears, the stress. And as we sit here in this beautiful hall of light, we allow the healing guides to help release these threads that are inside, all around, through our energy fields. Imagine, pretend, visualize these threads of light being pulled out, being released. The fears, those lower vibrations, the doubts, little threads of lights being released. Whatever it is for you, the fear of what's to come, take a breath, release, just for today being present. The stress of the world, the anxiety, releasing the mind that has you trapped. Let it go, just for today being present. Starting to release through the solar plexus, inhaling, Exhaling right through the solar plexus, shining golden light. Archangel Sarah shows up to help release the overload of worry, of running around, of all the doing. Bringing in a vibration right through the heart of ease and effortlessness, of being very present moment to moment. The message she brings in is that this is the way in which to slow down. Breathing through the solar plexus, through the back of the kidneys, the adrenals, all that overwhelm and overload. Allowing the healing guides to work right there now, releasing out. Bringing in the crystal beings of the golden healers allowing the golden healers, the crystal beings to help release, to find that ease and effortlessness. Breathe. Notice the ease. Breathe. Exhale. Allowing the healing guides to continue their work Releasing the overwhelm. Calling in the absolute light to come in and fill these places that are being released with fresh light, fresh energy for you, streams of grace. Receiving the message of moving out of the mind, dropping into the heart opening up the creative faculty, your intuitive abilities, trusting the unseen. There's the message right there. Trusting the unseen, allowing these invisible forces of light, of our guides, of messages to be received right through the higher self, to come into the human form, the human body, so you can receive these messages for your path, your light, now. Take a deep breath. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Feel this golden light shining right through the solar plexus. Mobius strips of light moving and clearing feeling the strength of your power, your solar plexus, clearing, strong, opening. Archangel Sarah guiding you for ease and effortlessness, reminding you when you get into that busy state to pause, to slow down, to breathe, using the alchemy of your breath. The soul remembers the wisdom that you've come in with. The soul purpose that creates the joy of 
living. Tuning in now to what it is that does inspire that joy, that happiness. As the stress is released, we can tune in, receive the messages, taking a deep inhale and exhale. Allowing yourself to receive the messages right now coming in for you. Notice, trust, don't doubt it. Ask yourself, how can I slow down to open up to my soul's journey? Receive that message for you. Taking one more deep inhale and exhale. And just ask that these messages continue to come through you over the next several days. Notice them in your dreams when you wake up. Write them down. Come back to this vibration as often as you can. Inhaling and exhaling as we offer gratitude to the healing guides, to the guardians of the records, to your records, to this beautiful galaxy of light that you find yourself in. As we start to bring our awareness back down through these tunnels of light, we come back into the human 3D form, feeling your feet on the earth, grounding your energy and now just releasing all of the connectiveness imagining a crystal ball above your head seeing your name in red and imagine reaching up and releasing separating out my energy from your energy from everyone else's holding on to your light yes we are all connected but we separate and find our own space our own light as we come back into the present time inhaling and exhaling all the way down deep into the earth, feeling your heart opening, feeling the illumination of your third eye. And as you're ready, blinking the eyes back open, coming back. Taking a deep breath, taking a little stretch, noticing how you feel, noticing any messages that came in for you. Write them down, make some notes. Notice how you feel as you go about the rest of your day. Know that you can learn how to read these records for you, how you can work in this higher expanded state of consciousness. My upcoming Akashic Record class begins in January. Registration will be open soon. Get on the wait list. I have lots of fun bonuses and master classes and trainings coming up. Reach out, schedule a spiritual upgrade breakthrough call with me, and let's talk about how this work can help you show up authentically and expanded, breaking free of the patterns you may find yourself churning and churning and churning in all the time. You don't have to do this alone. It is truly very helpful to have someone by your side. I'll put the links in the show notes. Thanks again for joining me. This is your host, Terri Ann Hyman. To your spirit, namaste. Hey, 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 my Akashic Records training class is coming up. Be sure to get on the wait list for all the amazing bonuses because you too can learn to read your Akashic Records. The links will be in the show notes.